Greetings everybody, Del Puckett here with a three string cigar box guitar lesson. All right, I'm gonna say this right now. This might be one of the most important lessons that I could ever teach on three string cigar box guitar, but this has more to do than with just the guitar, but with actually hearing and playing music that's in tune. As most of you know, I am a proponent of what they call just intonation. When just intonation is moving the frets to be in alignment with the harmonics. So what that does is that trains your ear to listen to these intervals. So listen, listen to me. Um, on a normal tuned guitar, equal tempered, you can make it sound like you're playing just intonation if you know what you're doing. And what I mean by that is there's certain notes that you stretch to get those intervals to be perfect and there's some notes that you tune flat to get those perfect intervals this is what i mean so this guitar here is tuned f sharp b e flat this is a major chord this is the the root is in the middle b the five is in the bass E flat is the third on top so makes it really nice for like one finger stuff with slide or whatever this is this is not traditional cigar box guitar tuning traditional cigar box tuning is one five one it could be EBE or GDG or any one five one configuration to standard tuning so this is a deviation from that this is a five one three if that makes sense i'm sorry one five three the root is in the middle fifth is in the bass third is on the top one five three so like i said it's one finger thing right here at the 12th fret so if i'm going to harmonize the scale basically two different shapes. It's this open shape is the first. The second shape is this little guy here. Looks like a minor seven chord or whatever. It's the uh, second fret and first fret here. This is the second shape. So all you gotta do is remember two shapes. This is the second shape. And you just move this up two frets. And then it goes back to the first shape, which is just a straight up and down. Back to this shape. Back to this shape. Back to this shape. So the up and down is uh, 12th fret, 10th fret. Then it's this shape. This is at the 8th and 9th fret. Open, the middle string's open. Back to this shape. 7th fret, 5th fret. Now this is the third fret and the fourth fret. Then you just slide it down two frets to the second and first. Back to open. Okay, so now this is where it gets good. And this is where you need to pay attention. All right, this string here, the third, in this case here, the E flat, I'm tuned flat a um, significant amount. And you can't tell because this is the third. And the third is that, that fret harmonic, that's why I moved the fret and adjust intonation, right? This one here, I just tune it down rather than move the fret. You understand what I'm saying? So now what that means is that this string here is gonna be flat um, for every other chord right but it's going to sound perfect for these the, the 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 straight up and down chord that's why this guitar sounds so good now because i got it tuned perfectly for that chord here's the problem whenever i go to this shape of chord 
I have to stretch, right? Because it's flat, tuned flat. So I have to stretch this finger. So this is what I do is I, is I grab the cord and with this finger here, I pull down just a little bit. I stretch that cord subtly. See my index finger is pulling down like this. And what I'm doing is I'm subtly stretching that cord to make it sound right. This is the way it sounds. And I'm stretching it. Same thing up here. When I come up to this chord here, the same thing. I've got to stretch this note here. So, and you can hear it. You can hear it. Makes it for a, for a, a tighter sounding chord when those intervals are right. I don't have to stretch this one here because it's flat. But when I come up to here, watch this. When I stretch, sounds like in the sweet spot. So that way, both chord shapes, the flat chords, the majors, and these chords, if you want to look at them as the minors, they both sound in tune because I'm, I've got one tuned flat for those, and then I stretch for these. Now I put them together, and they both chords sound in the sweet spot. So this is a concept that might go over some of your old heads, but if you would just trust me on this one here, this is very important. This is the difference between sounding in tune, like really in tune when you play, or not sounding in tune. Seriously, it's that important. So that's why I'm stressing it so much. This might sound in insignificant as far as like a lesson, you're not teaching me a riff, you're not teaching me a song, this is, in fact, this isn't even cool, this is boring. Not true, no, this is important. So, in my opinion, it's important. It's important to be in tune. If you're gonna play, might as well play in tune. So, um, I'm all about, you know, sounding cool and sounding out of tune and sounding loose sometimes, but I'm also about sounding dead on nails in tune. And why not, it's only three strings, right? So it's less strings to have to worry about keeping in tune. So that means that now you have a higher responsibility. You only have three strings, so by golly, you should, you should better be in tune. And I don't mean in tune by the tuner, I mean a tune by your ear. So I hope you get something out of this video because if not, then we're all just wasting our time. <laughs>